Alrighty guys, check it out. We got a quick little job to do on this van. Uh, racing Champions, yeah, Racing Champions, 75 Chevrolet van, the uh, custom deal. And uh, it's not going to be a total uh, tear down and paint and and uh, and all that. Although it is coming apart, uh, we're gonna just take what Racing Champions give us here and and improve on it and make it better. So, um, you know, like the wheels, things like that. Stick around. All right, guys. Maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> maybe there be more goes on here than just little listens and that's. Uh, the base on this truck is very basic metal base. You got your engine transmission, uh, exhaust detail, differential. It doesn't look too shabby. The body uh, has fender flares on it. Like I said before, that grill looks okay, but it sits out too far. Uh, it's glued in from the back. Let's see, yeah, there you go. The uh, it's like not glued in it they melt the posts over they come through it so you can take that out it's got nice detail around the like the glass and, and the and the marker lights are detailed up on it and stuff uh, and this body the rear doors do open uh, they did a custom detail on the <clears throat> rear tail lights there that they inverted them they put the reverse light on the bottom brake line on top but it looks like the small slot is red on top so they re really just inverted the slot the big slot should be on the top uh, do something with them I don't like that change that around this paints okay I would keep it um, maybe we'll uh, take the glass out of it and clear coat this thing once we get the tail lights corrected and stuff yeah, but as far as that, no, just getting that grill back in there. The interior is needs help. Um, it's got this, whatever this was, feels like the plastic. We bumped up there. We'll get rid of that. This divider looks like lattice work from the garden. Of, we should put flowers up on it or vines growing up in there, maybe. <laughs> And uh, the dashboard looked too bad, but holy crap, that uh, steering column comes way up there. It's like it's going to smack you in the mouth. Uh, the dashboard, I mean, it's a good dashboard. It looks, it looks like a Chevy G van. It's hard to see there. Got a good console on the uh, little console thing built on top of the engine cover, the doghouse. Uh, then look at the seat, passenger seat. Ooh, didn't get enough plastic in her. Either change seats or something's gonna have to be done there. Uh, to get this steering column down where it belongs. Fix that floor means I'll probably be changing it, putting carpet or something in here. This is just this is just bloomed. It, it was at first just to you know wheel change, and then I looked in here and. Uh, it's going to be longer than that. Let me show you the wheel I've got in mind. Uh, because this casting is a bit bigger, uh, I wasn't sure what I'd do for a wheel and tire, but I have some from a Maisto. Uh, looks like the like the large rally type of wheel. I think it was on a Nova. That's for the front. And we have this for the rear. With some meat on it, as a proper custom van should have. So I think if we do a little wheel and tire change, clean this body, get the front end done right, maybe clear coat this with our tail lights changed, and uh, get the ugly out of the interior. <laughs> it will. It'll be a medium build or. I can't even say that with a straight face because I know it's, I know shit's gonna explode. Hang on, guys. Alrighty, after having the van apart and looking it all over, I've got uh, some some kind of a plan <laughs> in action now. Uh, first thing was to get this body clear coated. 
Uh, I scrubbed it up real good. It's got a, a decal on the sides, uh, these stripes in the artwork. It's not a tampo. So I wanted to get that sealed in real good. And uh, it gave the, as, as, much, as well as the shine, the paint looks much deeper on a thing. It looks way better. So a couple good coats of clear on that and the doors. Got it mocked up with the front wheels on it. It's looking pretty good. Alrighty guys, here's our partition from the van, uh, our lattice work special from like Home Depot or something. Uh, what I want to do is I want to keep a partition, but I want it a pass through. And one thing, it'll when you have the rear doors open, it'll let light in from the windshield so you can see more stuff in the back. Two, it just looks better. You get, you know, you can have a, a deal up behind the seats, uh, but you should have a pass through. And uh, then to get rid of this lattice work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this twice out on the, the thin uh, styrene. I'm going to trace it out and cut it out. Uh, I'm going to make two uh, blanks to fit over each side, uh, front and back, and then sandwich it in there and have the partition and the cut, you know, the pass through, and it'll just be a solid. We can paint it or decorate it, whatever we want, but I got to get rid of that lattice work. So it's arts and crafts time. The partition's uh, complete. We've got it uh, blocked up, uh, the goofy lattice work, and it's ready to uh, be painted. Is it perfect? No. Does it matter? No, because you're not going to be able to see a whole lot. What I do hope it, I'm going to paint it tan. There's a lot, you know, the interior's got tan in, in it, browns and tans and stuff. I'm trying to keep it lighter um, so that through the partition, and uh, with the back doors open, maybe you can see something inside of it. All right, guys, if you recall, this uh, grill on the van set way out. It was just too far out. Uh, it's got good detail, but, you know, it looks right, but it was just too far out. So I spent a little time and took some material off of it. And I'd say she's just about right. wanted to uh, show you the interior tub uh, like I have done on the last few videos with these cars. Um, you know, it gets, it's so uh, dark inside of these things and they're so little it's, it's impossible to see all the uh, details and that. So I'll show you the interior tub and what's going on in the van before we put it together. We've got, first right off, there's a little wood paneling back there on our partition and we've got it opened up. We've got the racing buckets in place there because it is the it's like the muscle van or the hustle van or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, white face gauges, because it's uh, performance, you know. Our gold steering wheel with the gold flake. And some uh, doghouse uh, detail, the radio shifter, shifter leveler and stuff on the, uh, some other stuff on the dash. Cut the uh, uh, steering column down and got it down to where it should be instead of Slapping the driver in the face. Partition on the back side is just done in a tan. And then we've got a couple of uh, nitrous bottles mounted in the back. Up inside of the van, now you guys have seen, probably seen the, I think they're called a Twinkle Headliner, or a Starlight Headliner, and a Rolls Royce black headliner with little uh, twinkle lights in it and stuff. It's supposed to look like you're looking up at the stars at night. So, what would be better in this van than one, the furnace coming on, and two, big bright gold to match the steering wheel. Woohoo! Damn! Now, if I can do this, let me show you up inside here. So, just above the interior tub, you'll have the wood paneling going in there too and then that tan will take a place where the where the tub leaves off it'll just look like a tan maybe you know cloth or leather or something right there it's on uh, both sides all that wood grain loveliness so that's what we got going on on the inside ready guys so in all of her glory <laughs> it's the uh, racing champions 1975 G10 custom van 
and like everything else that I do, uh, this started out as just a simple wheel change, um, and it blossomed into uh, interior detail, clear coat, ordering another set of wheels, you know, underside detail, uh, making the, the partition in there, opening it up and stuff. You guys seen the last clip there with the uh, interior. Uh, the front end stuck way too far out, this chrome grill, so I uh, had taken a lot of material off of that to get it to sit a bit more flush. It still looks a little bit off to me, but eh, I mean, that's you get what you get with these. Um, so yeah, starting up front, that the front end was shaved down quite a bit uh, to put the, the grill work back in and get it just a little bit more flush with the van. We've got the uh, uh, clear coat on the body. There's a couple good clear uh, coats of clear on that, and it looks, I think, really good. Uh, one thing was these decals on the side. That's not a tampo. That is a decal, and it seems to be a, a real heavy decal and uh, there was a uh, like residue left from the glue on it on the van when I got it out of the package so uh, with some warm soapy water got rid of that and then I tried my luck with the the clear not knowing if I hit it you know um, is it gonna craze is it gonna lift a decal is it gonna do something stupid so uh, we rolled the dice and it worked out good the wheels are Maisto it's like a, a modern rally wheel, Chevy rally wheel, with the red ring on it. Brings it, uh, gives it that 70s sexy with, you know, modern muscle. <laughs> kind of like the white face gauges in it. Um, the, uh, the, the set that I had for the back was way too large. Um, I'd have, had I been painting this van, uh, it, it may have been different because... I was going to have to get into that rear uh, fender well and then also tub it back in and then I would go way in towards the uh, leaf spring on past the leaf spring a good bit so I would have been uh, not only the body but the underside would have uh, taken a, a a whole lot of a whole lot of work that I just didn't want to get into I wanted to keep this paint job and stuff so ordered another car got the set of wheels off of it it's hard to see anything. Like I said, that's why I showed you the interior tub uh, last last segment there. It is, it's just so damn hard. Unless you have it in your hand and you have a flashlight to work with. There's some nitrous bottles you can see right in the back there. But it's so hard to see anything up in that. Even with the partition opened from the front. You know, you've got to pretty much be holding the damn thing in your hand. Uh... The rear doors, the rear doors are just, they're going to be the way they're going to be. They uh, open and close. They are a little bit better than they were factory as far as lined up. Um, but uh, I didn't want to go too far and start bending around because, uh, well, you know, this material, it, you can bend it maybe a shade and... and you know not know your own strength and and bust it so I stopped about where I was in the back the tail lights they had those g10 tail lights just upside down uh, but they had the reverse lamp on the big part on the bottom and a small tail lamp on the on the top so I just painted them both in red um, we used to take the tail lamp tail lamps and put the they had the small reverse lamp on the bottom where it should have been we'd take them and turn them upright so they would be the reverse lamp would be up and down with the door uh, they've also done that with the uh, door handle on that left door there instead of being down and running along with the stripe it's up running with the uh, opening of the door and the plain plain rear bumper which on a 75 that was a factory deal they're missing a plate <laughs> a license plate indent in that bumper which means it would have been in one of the doors and it's not in there so I guess you don't really need a plate on a custom van and the same on this side the big decal uh, it looks pretty good it looks good on film here but it, it uh, on camera but it really looks good in person holding it you know, I'm, I'm really digging the, the clear coat on it 
underneath we just had uh, some detail underneath there the uh, small Chevy transmission got a little uh, exhaust detail in there the big old catalytic converter in 1975 our front control arms the suspension up front and leaf springs in the diff out back so just enough in there and like I said to get them other tires we would have come in and went beyond that leaf spring so uh, doing it this way ordering another set that uh, it doesn't look as cool as maybe it would have but uh, it, it's okay and it's uh, it turned out really nice uh, yep that's about it under there and you can see that front end from the side doesn't look too bad straight on it doesn't look too bad it's when you get about here it, it kind of has a a goofy look like it's almost tilted back in you know it's on a slant this way uh, but so you get what you get with these die cast cars and uh, I mean you could you could probably you could probably shave the, the thing uh, a little bit lower to the bottom maybe even shave the front end uh, that gets into what I call you know reinventing the wheel so not on uh, not on this project this time guys it will be for sale on uh, eBay as they always are uh, uh, 17 Stacy my wife's eBay seller uh, spot there and uh, we've got a bunch more stuff coming up here in May uh, coming up on the 18th the uh, red line day brought to us by diecast outcast uh, any red line um, custom or uh, restored we're gonna see uh, there's a bunch of people in that. May 23rd, uh, the 66 Nova build for the three blind mice. And uh, then on Memorial Day, May 25th, is a uh, 1964 Impala build with uh, myself and uh, Lee at Time Riders, We Little Cars, George over at uh, Hodges Hot Wheels and Diecast. Uh, there's a few more guys that are going to be in it, so uh, a 64 Impala build there. And then back on into June 13th is uh, a special build uh, back to the 50s with the three blind mice again. So uh, anything from the 50s, uh, 50s car, truck, American, British sports car, whatever. Uh, as long as it's from the 50s. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the van, the project that took a left turn and kept on going. <laughs> I really appreciate uh, all the... Uh, subscribers coming on and that uh, uh, if you haven't uh, hit the subscribe button maybe think about it and uh, thanks for checking us out we will see you on the next one guys thanks again